Okay, okay. Stop with the silly fish already. I get it. It's a fish, but it's pretending to be a shark. Whatever. Good one. Before we get into the actual vlog, did you know I did an interview with the one and only Jamie Kerstetter for the Rake Podcast? Check it out. Link in the description below. Okay, go ahead with the dumb fish. Saturday, May 1st, it's about one in the afternoon. I've been editing for a bit this morning. And I think it's time to go play. That's exactly what time it is. Time to take the uh, 20 minute-ish drive down to the strip and find a game. Five minutes later, on the strip, in the Bellagio, in the parking garage, on the 2.5 and the 5.10 lists, and we may have to work on this uh, Bellagio parking garage lighting, but we're here. We're out here again, mid-session update time of this 510 session at the Bellagio. Got here early, proceeded to play almost no hands for two hours. No hands, two hours. Card dead, spot dead, nothing going on. 
when I eventually did pick up Pocket Kings and raised, everybody folded, as they should have, because I hadn't played a damn hand in two hours. Since then, however, I picked up some hands. I found some spots to bluff. We're back in the thing. We're making things happen. And as we speak right now, I think I'm up 1200 bucks or so. But it's still early. The night is still young. We're going to go back in. We're going to try to make some things happen. And that, my friends, as I dodge through traffic, is your mid-session update. So after the mid-session update, I was in the mood to make something happen. Generally a bad idea, but I never said I had good ideas. Unfortunately, I didn't get this hand captured. Fold it to me and I opened three five of diamonds on the button to 30. Like I said, bad idea. Both blinds call. Flop comes ace of diamonds, jack of diamonds, six of hearts, and it checks to me. No reason to abandon my bad idea now, even though this flop should hit the collective villain's range pretty squarely. I bet $50 into 90 and only the small blind calls. One down. The turn pairs the six of diamond and brings in my flush. The small blind checks again and this time I bet 120. He calls. Again. The eight of heart drops on the river and now the small blind leads for the first time for $350. Oh boy. I make the crying call and show my hand and he mucks. I do always seem to have good ideas. My card distribution changed a bit after the mid-session update, which was a good thing. Not too long after that 3-5 of diamonds hand, I played this confusing one. A returning player has missed his blinds and decided to buy the button, so there's an extra $5 in the middle and a $10 post. An early position player opens the $50, which is a tad bit large, but whatever. I call in late position with King Jack offsuit. Again, whatever. Everyone else folds and we see the flop heads up. The flop comes ace, queen, seven, rainbow, and he immediately checks. A bit strange. This flop should be right in his wheelhouse. Well, if he's scared of something on this board, there's zero chance I'm checking. So leveraging that, I bet $50, thinking that this might be the end of the hand. But he snap calls. The turn, ten of hearts, gives me the nuts, and he quickly checks again. I'm definitely a bit confused about his hand strength now and not quite sure what will call me at this juncture. I decide to keep it small and give him zero reasons to fold. I bet $90 and again, snap called. The river eight of spades should mean absolutely nothing and he checks again. Now I go into the tank for quite a while. I debate on betting small again, but eventually settle on a larger size. The speed of his previous two calls indicates he has something that he doesn't want to part with. And if he has nothing, a smaller size bet won't matter anyway. He'll just fold. I bet $230. He thinks, and thinks, and thinks. Then eventually folds. I still have zero clue as to what he had. And then, just when things were starting to go in the right direction, just when I started to get some momentum, Remember when we said we'd stay together now until forever Just us, just us Said we wouldn't be like all the others Fight and hurt each other Not us, not us But we let each other down, down Back to the drawing board. Get up, you son of a bitch. Mickey loves you.
You may be younger than me, more humble than me, but ain't nobody got more hunger than me. When they gonna tell me what I'm gonna be, I block them out to the side of the beat. And I've been vibing, my mind reside on islands when I be rhyming, riding, and now I finally found it, my silence. I'm finally coming out the way I mean it when I write it. Every night I'm ripping out the weed and I'ma light it. Working in it now and I don't even get excited. If I had it though, I wouldn't care if people like it. But I don't, but I got tears for the little dough in my pot. Kids probably wanna go as hard as I do if I knew that I had another option. I'm grinding by the nine and I know no mind. Time is enough, I'm trying to climb it. Damn right, I'm out of my mind. I'm moving product, the light of the product. You're going back to the well with 3 5 of diamonds? Please tell me this is a joke. Got it, I'm probably not gonna stop it till I get pop with a lot of soul. You ain't got more hunger than me. Oh, 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 I was starting to get into my groove at this point and picking up on some of the behavioral patterns of a couple players at the table. That plays into my line in this hand. From early position, I looked down at two kings and opened for $30. This nets me two callers. The cutoff in the big blind. My VPIP the latter part of this session has crept into the very high zone, and I didn't really want to see a massively multi-way pot here and have to dodge all sorts of landmines. Two callers, however, very manageable. The flop comes deuce three six rainbow and the big blind checks to me. Nothing about this flop is worrisome, so I opt for a smaller size of $40 just to keep everyone hanging around. The cutoff calls and the big blind releases. Heads up, we see a nine of spades on the turn. Again, nothing worrisome and no reason to blow anyone out of the water with a huge sizing. I choose $100 and the cutoff calls. The river pairs the six. Not many hands I'm losing to at this point, and really, it's only pocket pairs that are likely to call a river bet here. Everything else are missed bluffs that would fold to a bet anyway. So I check with the hopes of inducing a bluff from the cutoff. He wastes no time in firing out $250 and I quickly call his bet. He exposes his hand and I see that he elected to turn pocket fives into a bluff on the river and I pick up a decent sized pot. Like every single Sunday yeah. I swear to God I'm so tired of saying one day Fun day I turned down a deal on Monday I won't sell myself for a couple dollars They make lame songs Gucci, Louis, Finney, Prada yeah. Top model Shit, nigga, I already got them I'm pushing this way Somebody come spot them I'm looking like a boss in my city yeah. Still hungry like I'm Rick Ross in my city What? Yeah, that was a fat joke Bad joke Where's a ranch, bro? I got sauce in my city sauce. And I ain't stopping till my crib Got a pool in it yeah. Basketball court with 20 rooms in it yeah. Movie theater remain with big boobs Take my kids to school While I'm making big moves in it yeah. uh, And I'm chasing that dream just like cookies and ice cream Coco Ho on my team like iced tea yeah. Watching games course I just like Spike Lee So you should do the right thing And direct all that hatred to somebody else And if you got beef I'm about to have a feast And I eat that shit all by myself Bitch You ain't got more hunger than me Oh, you ain't got more hunger than me Oh, you ain't got more hunger than me Oh, you ain't got more hunger than me Maybe younger than me More humble than me And promise to be More cunning than me But no one thing if you coming to me What? You ain't got more hunger than me time since I've done one of these and by one of these I don't mean a 
mid-session update. I mean an extended poker session. Oh, don't worry. We aren't done. This vlog was just getting too damn long. We'll finish this up next time. I assure you. And the game is good. I take that back, the game is amazing. If I actually show you my floor, okay, that's the stuff the dog has eaten. There's just like foam literally everywhere <laughs> in my whole place. So you don't have to feel bad. Okay, all right, intro time. Okay, hey guys, and welcome back to the race. 25 minutes later on the strip, on the 510 and the 25 list at the Bellagio. We're gonna have to work on this Bellagio parking garage lighting. So I've been sitting here, I've been editing. Everybody folded, as they should have. I'm super net. <laughs>